Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. In the last episode, we completed everything that we needed to do in the hub, and now we are exploring the glow. We can see our Brotherhood of Steel Man over here. Looks like we need to circumvent and get over to his body that way. Uh, I also saw some lockers that I would like to explore to see if there's any little hidden goodies. Uh, I think from doing the Brotherhood of Steel stuff, we should be getting ourselves some power armor, which apparently is the best stuff in the entire game. So I'm, I'm uh, really excited for that. Nothing in that locker. And stim pack. Okay, sweet. In that one. Um, let's see. So I'm trying to look uh, really closely to see if there's anything in these rooms that we want. There is a like a little shocky thing here on this. Ele the, the, the elevator circuits are shocking me. And so I wonder if I could use, like, traps on it. Does that work? You get a strong shock. We sustain three points of damage. It looks like... Okay, we're going to try one more time. We, I, I feel like we're over-leveled for this. We keep getting more and more damage. More and more damaged. Okay, yeah, we're going to give up on that. I feel like we can get through there, but our traps um, skill is really low. I mean, the, the glow has a name to itself. Like, wouldn't it have more sections? But then again... Um, the Great Khan's area, the Raiders, was just one, like, tent area, and that was about it. Okay, is there anything in these rooms that we can see? Anything that we want? There's some lockers back here, which we'll probably want to explore. I'll, I'll, uh, also, I would not be surprised if we were going to get exploded around here, because we've already, uh, came into contact with one trap. So I would not be surprised if another one happened to go off. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, Ian was hit for 14 points. Exactly. Okay. So I'm not really sure what to do. Like, I mean, we can use our trap skill, but will that survey, like, a certain amount of grids? Uh, I don't really know how to use the traps to figure out if there's any traps or not. Okay, so in this locker, ooh, we have a motion sensor, some tools, a big book of science. Can we actually just use this? No. Uh, we'll grab that and some brass knuckles. Um, I'm not going to take this stuff just because we already have tools, right? Or do we use those? No. We already have that stuff. And like I said, you know, we're running really low on carry weight all the time. So if we just bog our inventory up with stuff, we might not be able to grab the stuff that we really want. But let's go ahead and use the big book of science. You learn new science information, which I'm assuming just means that our science skill is up. And I noticed this locker here. What do we have in here? A rifle. We're not going to take that either. Even though it might be worth a decent amount of caps. Just don't think that we, we'll be able to grab it. And we definitely want to grab some stuff here on this Brotherhood of Steel member. So let's open this up. And inside of which we have the, rem the remains of corpse encased in old armor. And what do we have? We have yellow pass key. Interesting. And we have... This seems strange. You think it may be what the Brotherhood sent you to retrieve. Well, that was pretty dang easy. You'll notice we can't actually grab his armor or anything. And I wonder what the yellow pass key is for. We've got a glowing computer here. You see computer. Let's interact with it. Okay, system. Primary power offline. Secondary power online. We have... So, <laughs> it's funny because it's treating this as an NPC. We can barter with it. Let's barter with it. Come on. Don't you have some goods that I want? Okay, power management. Let's see. Primary power, emergency power back. Let's go primary power. Primary power management offline. Reinitialize primary power. Error, error, error. Primary system initialization failed. Diagnose. Failure generator level 6. Zero feed return inoperable. Service needed. So it looks like we would need to go to uh, level 6 to fix this. Let's go emergency power. Emergency power management online. Disable emergency power. Why, why would we do that? Okay. So that's shut off everything. Um, let's try this again. Enable emergency power. That turns on the... Why would we want to disable that? Let's go back to this. Okay. Uh, the one thing that I do want to try is we got that yellow key code from the brother let's see let's try using that how do we do this I guess that doesn't do anything um, let's do this and then backpack and then grab it I don't think this is gonna work um, but we will try it on the elevator as well oh 
That does nothing. Okay, interesting. So the only thing that I think, uh, we, the only reason I can see that we would want to shut off the power is to try and operate the L. You know what? That's probably it. Okay, let's just go over here and we'll try the, um, we'll try the passcode on this, although I don't think it's going to work. I think, I think, yeah, I think we want to shut off the power. Okay, let's try this. Authorization granted. Now disarming electricity field. Oh, shit. Okay. Never mind. That worked out. Now, we can return, obviously, to the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Come on. You want to let me... What the hell? Go in here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I believe we're on the first floor. Uh, let's go to the second floor. Now, it said level six is where the power can be restored, right? Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I have no idea what this place involves, ladies and gentlemen. Is this a Protectron? Yeah, so this is kind of like a, a mystery that we're all solving together, which is really cool. Okay, uh, let's let's. we need to look really closely. We've got another computer here. Let's try this one out. Okay, system. Primary power offline. Secondary power online. Power management. Uh, let's go primary power. Reinitialize. It just says fail. Diagnose. Inoperable. Service needed. Okay, so same thing. Um, we need to find uh, level six, but there's only three floors, so I don't know about that. We do have one extra rope, and we just need to be really careful. Let's go ahead and save the game here, because obviously there's some traps that are exploding all around us, but we're pretty high health at the moment. Okay, let's go through here. All of these robots are dead, so hopefully nothing bad happens to us in here. Hey, look at that. What do you know? We were hit for 12 points. Okay, we can withstand that. You see sentry robot. Can't talk to. Another sentry robot. We can't loot any of these things? Okay, just a bunch of dead sentry robots. Ian's just going to go ahead and run right through. That's cool, man. That's cool with me. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have three lockers. Let's search those up. What is that? An explosive rocket. I'll take that, I suppose, for now. They probably weigh a lot, though. Okay, what do we have in this one? We have two frag grenades. Okay, gonna bypass those. And we have com or leather armor, um, which we can't use either. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how to reveal these traps. I mean, if we walk out into this hallway, there's probably another one. So let's use our skill decks and then traps and then just, like, do this. Yeah, see, nothing happens. Yeah, I don't know how to check for traps in this game. Okay, let's go down here. I mean, what are we exploring for? What else can we find down here? I don't know, but there has to be a reason they created this whole place, right? Looks like this was blasted through. And we can go through here into this main chamber. I don't think we can interact at all with the... Uh, the crater in the middle there's some very various computers all around but as we found out like you can't really interact with them whatsoever they're all gonna be broken or their monitors broken or whatever I, I'm not seeing any items in here whatsoever so let's keep moving let's go this way there's a room here that doesn't seem to have anything in it either let's see but there may be something hiding against the wall Okay, don't see a point of this room, so there remains one more room, and I mean, if there's nothing in this room, there's literally no point to this floor whatsoever. And it's looking like there is no point. I mean, there is another computer. There's a charred body here. Can we, like... Yeah, you see the remains of a male guard. Aha! Okay. That's what we wanted. Thank God I looted that guy. Okay, we got a red pass key. This is interesting because, like I said, we can just return to the Brotherhood. I didn't know there was, like, another sort of quest. Uh, so what would we need to use that on? We can already go down to the third floor, but maybe that allows us to go down to, like, the sixth floor. Which, if that is the case, we will go ahead and go down to the sixth floor. Um, because I want to turn on everything before we try to explore more of this. So let's try using... That pass key on this elevator. Boom. The that does nothing. Okay. Well, maybe we have to get to the third floor to be able to use it. 
Oh, what the hell? It's shocking me again. Do we have to use the yellow key card again? I mean, I already used this elevator. It's not like I subverted the system. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, we have to use the yellow key card every time we go back into one of these. Okay, let's go to the third floor. I'm assuming that's where we can use the red key card. Okay, what do we have here? Hopefully, yes, I was going to say hopefully another elevator, and indeed we do. All right, so this is another computer that I'm sure is just going to have the same thing. Right? Yep, power management, primary power, reinitialize, and it can't. Diagnose. Yeah, level six needed. Okay, we're going to fully explore this, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, we're going to save after every floor because there's traps going on, going off everywhere. It can really mess us up. There's probably another one in here. So maybe if we circumvent, maybe if we hover over to the corners of the room or the, the walls of the room, maybe that won't happen. Yeah, we can't. We can only, like, talk to these robots, interestingly enough. Okay, Ian, I would not go straight through the middle. That seems to be where the all of the explosions are. Okay, let's see. We have a main room here, and I'm not seeing anything inside whatsoever. We have a very long hallway down here, which means probably explosion, maybe. Another room with not much there. There's our elevator in the corner, but there's some lockers over the, uh, over here that I would really like to explore. Maybe we can get our hands on some more stim packs. Oh, man. I'm really enjoying playing this game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoy watching this series. I know it's, like, really old and dark and odd-looking, but I've never known any of this stuff exists. Existed. We have some Mentats and Buff Out. Not interested in drugs. There we go. That is what I'm interested in. Gonna go ahead and bypass the doctor's bag thing, because we've got three of those already. First aid kits. Okay. And in here we have some ammo. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Um, What was this? Was that the ammo type that we're using right now? What is this? 14 millimeter AP? 14 millimeter. Yes, it's for our first, uh, it's for our 14 millimeter pistol. So yeah, we want that. Okay, let's go over here. And we have holy god. What is this? Small energy cell. Interesting. Five millimeter. We don't use that. We don't use that. We don't use that. I'm just gonna. I, I know it's probably heartbreaking to some of you guys, but I the stuff just constantly takes up our inventory space. We constantly have to get rid of it. So even if I took it, I probably have to just drop it somewhere down the, the road or sell it, of course. But I think we've already gotten past most of what we need for caps. I mean, we're fully upgraded, like, in terms of weapons and armor. We can always come back. We know where this stuff is. Okay, all right. So I'm going to know. Yeah. Oh, this one. Okay, this one probably has yellow, but you can't see it too well. This one has a red outline. So I wonder what we should use, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think? I'm going to try the red key card. It would probably shock us if we didn't do this. Yep. Yep. Disarming electric field okay we have to remember to use this for every single time that we go into one of these okay so yeah three four and six let's go straight to six and then we'll work our way upwards because i don't want to miss any cool like unique weapons or anything okay all right and what do we have here oh yet another elevator we'll probably need yet another key card for that um we have some burnt bodies in these doors let's explore those first and there is a computer right over here that's right next to like a generator it seems Okay, we have a dead person in power armor. Interesting. More Brotherhood of Steel people. Okay, that guy had nothing, though. We can't actually take his armor. This guy's got a 10 millimeter pistol. No thank you. have more than enough of those. Okay, let's just try to turn on the power before we interact with the rest of these bodies. Let's see. I don't see anything else in this room other than that computer. Ian, you can wait for me, man. You don't want to just rush into things, buddy. Things are going to be exploding all over the place. Okay. Let's see here. All right. System primary power. Yeah. Power management. Primary power. Reinitialize. System initialization failed. Service needed. Generator level six. Service needed. Okay. Interesting. So that should be this right here, right? These generators seem to be offline. You wonder if you can start them back up. Huh. Well, let's use... Repair? 
Hell yeah! You start up the generators and all systems seem to be coming back online. You gain a thousand experience points. Man, it is so nice when a game this old just runs this smoothly your first time playing it. Okay, sweet. Alright, power management, primary power, reinitialize. Boom! Let there be light. Holy crap, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what we did just yet, but we did something. For sure. Okay, we could disable the primary power, but I don't know why we why we would want to do that. Okay, we've got some more burnt bodies here, but that, <laughs> this is so much nicer. There is so much light. Uh, this may be, like, related to another Brotherhood Steel quest. Like, maybe they want me to come back here. We have a dead peasant with a bunch of ammo. JHP, 5mm and 44 Magnum, two of which we do not use. We'll obviously grab all of the ammo that we do use. Okay, let's go in here where we have the remains of a vault dweller with some rat away and a knife. Could probably use some rat away, but I think we'll just go to a doctor to get healed instead. We have a plasma pistol. We already have one of those and we sold it at one point. We see a bed. Okay, let's loot these bodies. So this was a vault, if it wasn't clear. I mean, maybe. There's a vault dweller. Should be, yeah. Okay, we have another stem pack and some more of this type of ammo, which seems to be different from the plasma rifle ammo. Okay, we have uh, another elevator. Oh my god, what is happening? We have an enemy here and an enemy here. Looks like this one's going to activate too. Uh, let's go for a targeted shot on whatever this thing is. What is this? Yeah, I know it's a wall. Ugh. Okay, yeah, let's go for a targeted shot. The CPU, the frame, the sensor, regulator, the manipulator, the manipulator, the motivator, the motivator. Let's go for the CPU. Sentry robot was critically hit in the CPU for 35 hit points. Sparks fly, and the robot goes momentarily out of control. All right, let's move over here so we can get a better look. Terminate the intruder. It's got a weapon! You were hit for 11. Okay, let's try to kill this thing. Uh, let's shoot him in the CPU again. Okay. Yeah, he was hit for 21 points and was killed. Let's get behind the wall so this thing can't hit me. Never mind. Just hit me anyways. Um, let's try to go for a targeted shot on this guy. We can hit the frame pretty easily enough. Looks like a mother brain, by the way. Okay, he was hit for... Oh, we missed. All right, let's keep moving. Dogmeat's going to go attack. Ian's going to go attack. I was hit for nine. Okay, we really need to heal. Let's use two stim packs. This should be over pretty soon. That didn't get... No! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So the game crashed, uh, which was a first. And yeah. So I had to obviously uh, reload it. And here we are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kill these two things. And then we are going to end this episode. I, I re you know, made my way back all the way over here. Uh, let's shoot this thing right in the CPU. I'm feeling ballsy. Okay, Sentry Robot was critically hit in the CPU for 34 hit points. Sparks fly and the robot goes momentarily out of control. Wonderful. Uh, let's end our turn here. And that other thing's going to activate. So yeah, this thing looks like a... I'm not sure what it's called if we can figure out. Can we figure out what this is called? You see, it just says he has X out of X. So that's not going to work. Uh, let's target this thing again and go for the CPU once more. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, Sentry Robot was hit for 11 hit points. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward. We don't want Ian taking all of the damage. Sentry Robot was critically hit for 18 points. Uh, and he was hit for 1. We were hit for 17. That is not good. Uh, we need to take this thing out first, though, because it's the close to death. Okay, he was critically hit for 23 hit points. Yeah, he's pretty close. This thing's going to keep chasing me. Um, we were hit for nothing. Sensory Robot was hit for 18. Ian reloads. We were critically hit for 36. Jesus. Let's go ahead and use some stim packs here. That is too much. We'll use three. Okay, and we don't have enough to fire a shot, so we'll end our turn. Okay, Sensory Robot was hit for five and was killed. Nice job, Ian. We were hit for six. And that's fine, because now we will take you out, you piece of shit robot. Or maybe not, because you only we only hit him for seven. All right, well, Ian should be able to finish him off. Or Dogmeat. Uh, he was hit for one. 
And he was hit for seven. Uh, no, he was hit for one, then was hit for four, and was killed for slaying your opponents. We get 475 experience points. Very nice. Now, if they're just introducing these things attacking us, that probably means there's definitely some more stuff to be uh, found. Ooh, what is this? You find sni You see a sniper rifle. Come on, take it. Come on. Oh, come on! See what I mean, guys? See what I mean? All right, we're going to have to remove, like, everything we don't use. Let's get rid of all that ammo. What is this? 10 millimeter AP. Uh, we'll get rid of all of that. Can I take this now? <sighs> okay, what don't we... What absolutely do we not need? Plasma grenades. Get rid of those. Electronic lock pick. I don't know if that's unique, though. That's the problem. Okay, we got it. Yeah, and that sniper rifle looks exactly like the ones from... Okay, we'll get rid of the missiles, too. Uh, what does this use? 0.223 FMJ. Which I think this guy has down here. Interesting. A sniper rifle. Okay, yeah, we haven't seen one of those before. I think this guy has some ammo. I forget what type it is, though. What is this? 44 Magnum and 5 millimeter. 5 millimeter. Okay, yeah, we'll keep an eye out for the uh, sniper rifle ammo because we should be able to deal a decent amount of damage with it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a blue elevator here, which probably means we need to go back up the red elevator. Um, so we'll go ahead and use the red key card because I think you have to do this every single time. There are two floors that we have not explored. Floor 5 and floor 4. And we'll work our way up. Uh, but we'll save the game here. Uh, yeah, this is really interesting. I'm having a blast exploring this. It looks like we are in a vault. And, uh, yeah, there's some mystery going on. Like I said, we can return to the to the Brotherhood of Steel. But we're going to fully explore this place and see what's going on with all of these elevators and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.